Welcome to the last part of series 19. We go into the last of our smaller games, Inspectors. Yeah, if you haven't gotten the chance to listen yet, uh, we have been part of the recent series on Chris's podcast, Playtest, playing his game, Hard Space Hustle. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun and worth the listen if you enjoy quality content, like people playing a space game, but never actually going to space. Sorry, Chris. Also not sorry. <laughs> Definitely not sorry. It was so much fun, though. I had a such a great time playing that game. Uh-huh. We are starting a contest. Woo! Woo contest. Everyone clap. We'll pause Yay. for you to clap at home. And we're back. Over the course of the next month, we are asking people to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Anyone that leaves a five-star review or has left one there in the past will be eligible to win either a badge to a catacon for free oh, or a t-shirt <laughs> from our tea public store if mm -hmm. you can't make it to a catacon because we understand that you know sometimes you don't want to go to dayton ohio yeah or you're across the ocean right yeah <laughs> um obviously we will keep reading those reviews on the show this only counts for apple podcasts though so if you've left one previously on facebook stitcher or Podchaser, consider adding it to um, adding a new one on Apple Podcasts. That is the easiest place for people to find us generally. Um, the reviews matter most there. Mm -hmm. And we're just getting low on them. So yeah, yeah, uh, we're going to do this contest. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of low on reviews, this is the last one that we have in our pocket. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, definitely if you if you get on that as soon as possible... Uh, that would be amazing because, uh, you know, we really believe in the show and we want more people to hear it. And even reviews on Apple Podcasts will help get us into more people's ears. Yep. Um, you and... have until uh, the next character evolution cast. So not this one uh, that's coming out next week, but the one at the end of September mm -hmm. um, to get those reviews in. And we'll announce on that episode then when, uh, who won. Absolutely. So, on that note, uh, let's go over our final review. Um, this one is by Enlightened Moa from Sweden on iTunes, uh, titled Simply a Great Listen. Truly one of my favorite go-to podcasts. Recommended if you are looking for lovely hosts, a plethora of role-playing game systems, or just listening in to a nice and nerdy chat. It is to character creation cast I turn when I want to listen to a calm, happy, and creative podcast, or just when I want a short break from the stress of everyday life. Aww. And just to clarify, I like this podcast enough to warrant downloading iTunes in order to let you know how good of a listen this is. I really appreciate that. That's amazing. That's so nice because I'm not going to lie to you. I have not downloaded iTunes yet on this computer. Mm -hmm. um, I have it on my last computer. And every time I log in, it's like, do you want to update iTunes? And then it takes like four hours to update iTunes. And I hate iTunes. Uh -huh. So I, I do recognize, dear listeners, what a big ask this is for you to enter this contest. <laughs> I know that you have to download iTunes. I know that it wants to update. I know it's the worst. Mm -hmm. I wish that apple would let you leave a review without downloading itunes yeah um but also thank you so much for going through all of that work for us because i recognize what an effort you put in mm -hmm. <laughs> um that's wow you must really love us <laughs> <laughs> oh yes so with all of that out of the way uh enjoy the show To character creation cast a show where we discuss and create characters the best part of role-playing games with guests using their favorite systems i'm one of your hosts amelia and today my co-host ryan and i welcome back chris foster host of the playtest podcast for a special series of episodes covering smaller games this week we are talking about inspectors a game about modern ghost hunters in a startup culture 
Chris, we are super excited that you are still here. Chris hasn't been here for 25 years. <laughs> oh no, we're hunting Chris ghosts. Oh no. They're easy to find. They make a lot of noise and stumble a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Ghost, why don't you introduce okay. yourself and remind listeners where they can find you and what you're up to you back when you were alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I'm alive again. We're good. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you, uh, you can check me out. I have a podcast called Playtest where I make and test a game uh, at this point. Uh, you, there are familiar voices at this point. I think everybody has caught on to my very subtle hint that it's YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I have a, a game, a lot of games, but a game specifically that you can give me money for called uh, Davini on playtest.itch.io. Uh, and any money I get for that is going to go back into it to make a proper game book and hire non-binary and female bisexual people to write scenarios and stuff for it. So that'll That's be cool. cool. That's right. I'm still, uh, there's several weeks later, still excited about this game. Maybe by this Hopefully. point, I will have gotten to try it. Hopefully by now, I will have wrangled you into actually playing the game. Yes. Yeah, I really want to. Man, Especially I want to be a disaster bisexual. I mean, you, you are. I, I know, but I also want to pretend one. to be one, too. <laughs> that's, oh. uh. I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, I do want to be, like... I'm slightly proud that, like, somebody would consider me the disaster part of disaster. Like, I don't know. What makes you a disaster bisexual? Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I think of just having too many emotions. Oh, okay. Yeah. being a bit messy, which yeah, for I sure can relate I am. to. <laughs> uh, I think, I think the, the, the fun part of this is, is, yeah, we can be disaster bisexuals all day long, but we actually have to have self-control, whereas Julie Dobney, Dobney does not have to. So... <laughs> That's mm. the power. That's the fantasy there. That's yeah. I'm all about what if that. What you, but had no filters? <laughs> <laughs> if Ryan let me swear on this podcast, uh... Ryan let us swear. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dang. <laughs> Fudge sickles. Ah, uh, sugar. God. <laughs> I don't want to fork it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Unlike us, you actually give a shirt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh darn it oh, gosh, uh well an hour or whatever of recording now. Uh, uh, well uh let's go ahead then and get right into this and we will start discussing what this game is all about what's in a game all right question number one what do we need to play this game uh so you got the book right other than that you just need d6s i think the most you'll need is four i uh, know because you could have uh, a higher cool than that if you're playing a weird character but some d6s a handful like a, young a number set. of d6s mm-hmm. more than more than two more than two probably less, less than, than 10 15. yeah yeah not 15 right <laughs> yeah less than 50 more than two somewhere in there you'll be fine mm-hmm. uh, so between yeah 400 and two <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in there uh, just like one or 12 <laughs> yeah exactly Let's say five, just to get say out of five. this bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, future Amelia, when you edit this. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. So what do characters do in this game? We hunt We hunt ghosties. We hunt Actually, you could hunt a lot of things. You could hunt cryptids, uh, but generally supernatural things. Okay. Very cool. Uh, but you, so you specifically like own a business that does that. You own a bi- You're running a business and... You're part of a documentary, which is very important. Oh, oh yes. interesting. Because there are confessionals where you can go and look at the camera. <laughs> ah. So is this like uh, like Ghostbusters, the the reality TV show? Yeah, it's like Ghost Hunters or like uh, yeah, like any kind of paranormal investigator. It does have the, the like the setting is very much like our world, except they say that like ghosts are an established fact of the world rather than like. People, people, you don't not believe in ghosts. They're there and they're a nuisance. Okay. And, and so, so we're basically the exterminators of this world where ghosts are actual problems. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. This is another game where we kind of create the setting along with the characters and a few other things. So what kind of stuff do we get to establish in the process? So I think a big thing is you get to establish like what you're hunting. And uh, by that, you say, like, what kind of supernatural things are in the world? 
Uh, and then you also get to establish your specific um, franchise because the idea is Inspectors is a larger company like McDonald's mm -hmm. and you, ha you have one franchise of it. Uh, so you don't get to, to, to say things about like the world so much as you get to say things about your franchise and what it looks like mm. and how, how you hunt these supernatural weirdos. Yeah. That's very cool. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. yeah. I'm really excited about this. Awesome. So before we dive into that, uh, are there any basic terms or concepts that we need uh, to know before we go into the character creation process? I think the only thing that's going to be a sticking point is franchise dice, uh, which are the things you, so you're going to start off with some franchise dice that you get to put into other cards to give you money and stuff. Okay. To, to bonuses for later. But they're also the thing you earn over the course of your uh, job. And there's like, it's also like the, the limiter, like, when you get to this many franchise dice, you have solved the problem. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then, and then the next time you play, well, actually, you'll have to spend some of those to, to not be so stressed out and go on vacation and stuff. Um, but uh, you'll spend those again next session, if you had a one, to, to put back into your library gym and credit card. Oh, cool. So I, think, I think that's the only weird term. Shall we, shall we make some people? Let's make some people. Let's make some people. Let's, let's make a franchise. Let's <laughs> let's capitalize -ism. <laughs> Two games yeah. about capitalism. Oh, it's it's what we love. All three of us. We you did. Know. We learned that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yep. We love hashtag brands. And that's hashtag called a bookend. <laughs> <laughs> now we can't make that joke anymore. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's jump right into this. Let's start with our characters. The book says first to come up with a name and personality for your character. So what do we have in mind here? Uh, so uh, I'm going to be playing a character named John Longfellow. They, they do say that um, the game is more interesting the more normal your characters are because they're normal characters being put in weird situations. Mm -hmm. uh, however, like, it's not a hard and fast rule. But the, the more, if you make them weird, you need to like, tie them to more mundane things too. Like, uh, the first thing, actually, the first thing we might want to discuss is there is an option for one player to play a, an actual supernatural character. And uh, as the guest, I think I get first say on that one. And I say I don't want it because there is someone in here who has the actual name Witch in their Twitter handle <laughs> who might want it more than me. I actually don't. I really want to like play just a regular normal person. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take that supernatural. Uh, you do? Okay, you don't have to. I but it's like an option there. Okay. Uh, Great. So, so you're, you're gonna, gonna use create your character. And be the weirdo. I'm, yeah. the, I'm the blood mage. Oh, some <laughs> some brand confusion here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm gonna see where this goes. I'll decide whether I want to murder you later. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. So in that case, let me go ahead and. Uh, so you're gonna need a page 36 a lot because that's where the weird character stuff is. Why you gotta slow us down, Ryan? I'm sorry. Uh, so the important thing here, we, and we've got to come up with a basic personality, but whatever, it's not on the sheet, so I'm going to, we can come up with that and say, do you have a, a name for your characters? Uh, well, the first name I pointed to was Ainsley, so that's fine. We'll probably need a last name. I'm trying to think of like, uh, like evil blood mage. You don't have to be evil. How about good? The, so if you oh, look at the options, there's blood like, mage. Names. It's like vampire, werewolf, ghost, zombie, oh, psychic, sorcerer, demon, <laughs> supernatural hero like Buffy. What page is that list on? Uh, they start at 36. Oh. Wait, no, they don't. They start at uh, 39. Uh, you could ah. also just make up your own. These are just like templates. Okay. Okay. The important thing is you, you, you get to assign points differently than us. Mm-hmm. And then you get to, instead of uh, getting a special talent, you have a weird ability. All right. Um, I'm changing up my concept, and I am taking that supernatural hero. Okay. And which, what's the supernatural hero's name? Oh, so this is like Buffy the Vampire Slayer type thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Or, or you could just be, uh, no, that's, that's more silly. Never mind. Not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with something ridiculous and a little punny. Mm -hmm. um, so Buffy uh, has buff in her name. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with Jackie because uh, she's jacked. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I like that. 
Okay. We have to pick an occupation, too. Did you pick an occupation, yeah. Chris? A, for- a former occupation. Yeah. So, John Longfellow is a retired Chippendales dancer. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, which means he's, like, 35. <laughs> <laughs> He just got to the point where, like, he had, to, like, when he was younger, he could just, you know, hit the gym a couple hours a day and it'd be fine. But uh, still, like, mostly eat whatever he wanted. But still mostly be fine. And now, now he's gotten to the point where he can't eat anything fun. He's at the gym constantly trying to maintain this Chippendales dancer body. And he's just like, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> Ghost hunting? <laughs> yes. Yes. My character is Ainsley Wright. Um, former publicist for for a horror novelist very nice so a little bit of uh, um synergy there like yes i'm aware also what's a horror novelist like in a world where all these ghosts and stuff are just real <laughs> well that's the thing is that like it's really actually pretty boring <laughs> it takes a lot of it's lot like of a slice of life yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're it's just really like everything's just really exaggerated and mm-hmm. it's like we're really tired of the hyperbole. What's Jackie's p- former profession? Uh, so Jackie Smith uh, used to be a librarian. Awesome. Uh, until she came upon a very significant book which turned her into Jackie Smith, the supernatural hero. Is it the <clears throat> book of the unknowable? <laughs> <laughs> It's all connected. The unknowable book of chance while she was eating her lucky charms. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Uh, so at this point, we have to pick, we have to assign our nine skill dice. Uh, Amelia, you and I can't can't have anything above four and can't have anything lower than a one. Okay. Uh, and uh, we can't put points in cool. Okay. Uh, Ryan, Jackie can't, Jackie has 10 dice to assign mm-hmm. and you can put points in cool and you don't have a min or max. Min or max. Nice. So you could have zero in something if you wanted. And that's academics, athletics, technology, and contact, right? Right. And, and the important thing to remember, all of them are pretty much what they say on the 10, except technology is also what you use to, to get technology. So if you're trying to buy technology and stuff. Oh, interesting. So all of your equipment is going to roll off of technology. So my supernatural hero archetype, I guess you could call it, has some suggestions for yeah. the skills, uh, but I don't have to go with those, right? Right. That doesn't make sense, though. What? <laughs> I was going to do academics zero. You, yeah, you're the librarian who can't <laughs> read. <laughs> I'm good at putting books back where they're supposed to go, but that's about it. I think I'll do that so I can bump my cool up to three. Wait, you're making a stupid librarian? Yep. <laughs> cool. Apparently. Uh, no, okay, I'm going to make technology inept librarian. Zero for tech and then one for academics. Oh boy, you're gonna have a hard time in this game. I know. This is like totally a not me character. Aside from I... the like, you know, being a supernatural hero sort of thing. I'm totally into yeah. that. I uh I generally surprising no one do not play beefcake. <laughs> <laughs> uh which is all this this is all John Longfellow is. <laughs> All right, Jackie Smith has uh, has stats or skills. John also has skills. So does Ainsley. And actually, I made academics my lowest as well, which is not me at all. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> this is going to be good. So John Longfellow has an academics of one, an athletics of three, uh, a technology of one, <laughs> and a contact of four. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, so Ainsley has an academics of one, uh, athletics of two, Technology of three and contact of three. Nice. And Jackie Smith has an academics of one, athletics of four, technology of zero, contact <laughs> of two, and cool of three. Uh, so that means like stress, stre- like in, 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 in anything of stress level three or lower, you don't even have to roll on. Oh, that's cool. And if you if there's a four or five stress, which five is the highest, five, five is like everything bad has happened in this day. You would still only roll two stress dice. Oh, wow. Nice. So you're very unaffected by a lot of things. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so we all have academics one. We are dummies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> so up next, we have to pick a talent. Uh, and this is a, 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 or your weird ability, if you have one. 
this is this is anything this this is yeah this could obviously tie into one like so if you had like uh extreme like uh unnatural strength that's obviously like athletics right but if you can find a way to apply it to technology contact or academics like uh extreme physique being like oh, oh we need to figure out something about an exercise routine you'd be like oh i got you <laughs> i've got that yeah. i've got extreme physique or whatever mm. so these are things that can apply to anything uh but it, and it'll give you uh one additional die to whatever you're doing if you can tie it in Oh, weird Asians don't get to pick a talent. You know, you get a weird ability instead. Oh. Uh, so we scroll down to what are the suggestions for you? It doesn't give you one? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, so like for the vampire, one of the options is like you could turn into a bat. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, uh, or mist. Um, boop, boop. The the werewolf has like two different stat lines where where if they change it to a werewolf they have different stats. Oh, interesting. Uh, uh oh, the ghost has to spin cool dice to interact with the living world. Uh, so it doesn't. I don't see one for yours though. Hmm. I mean, I feel like yours would be something related to like your dual personality sort of thing. You know what I mean? Or or it could be like you can uh like roll athletics to get weapons instead of technology. Oh, I like that. I think that'd be a cool one. Like pulling weapons out of nowhere by doing <laughs> cool acrobatics and stuff. Yeah. Or just you have like a, a, a an armory. Yeah. Uh so do you have a a talent in mind? Uh I've got uh so John is John is like a, like like he's retired now and he's he's you know eating actual food and not working out constantly so like he's not chippendale's level uh sculpted anymore but he is still as his talent uncomfortably attractive (laughs) 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 not just not just attractive he's just kind of hard to look at (laughs) um so i wanted mine to just be like pop culture knowledge like i know someone (laughs) i know the trends i know you know, you're just always on Twitter. <laughs> you get memes. I yep. do. Understanding I do. memes is a superpower. As a 31 year old person, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it would be super great if I didn't have to like Google why hashtags are trending. Yeah, or uh, like a lot of the a lot of the things like I'm just like I'm just gonna mute this. This is <laughs> I don't understand it. Please, it go would take away. more effort to understand than it's worth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then I have to think through really hard how to remember to mute something on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. We have made our characters. That's it. That's it. Now we got to make a, I mean, we can pick the, on the character sheet. There is a spot for date of birth and next of kin, but uh, we don't need to worry about those. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure all my next of kin are dead. Cause so, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's not, it's not safe being the next of kin of a hero. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, so n- now we're going to make, uh, our franchise. I'm so um, excited for this. Yeah, this is the part. So this is, this is the really fun part. And, and, uh, something I especially like about any game where they give you a list of questions, yes. uh, to answer as a group. Um, cause this is, this is where int- all the interesting things happen. In my opinion, mm-hmm. this is why we have a session zero for campaigns. This is the best, the best part of any game is let's make some stuff up together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the, the first question on the, on the list, there's a list of them. Uh, I think I already said that. How, <laughs> how big is your franchise and how long have you been in operation? Uh, so what's interesting to us? We're all, we're all real dumb. It's true. Yeah. I, I can't imagine like we, we've been like, this place has been here long enough to be established. And then we took over. I, I think we probably just maxed out all our credit cards to start this place. Yeah. Yeah. But, I think so. But like, we're good at it. Right. Aside from well, like academic <laughs> stuff we're well we're yeah. good we'll have at, to find we'll out won't we we're good at beating down those when we ghosts. play this game we, we thought we would be let's yeah. say so we definitely are, thought we were good are we brand new then or i think i don't know if we're brand new but i think being small would be a good idea like okay uh we've just rented a building yeah i think we're in like um a strip mall oh i like strip mall yeah and um the the stores on either side of us are like 
still for rent. Like, yeah. the businesses that were there are long gone. It's we're in, like, a Rust Belt sort of area. There's just, like, not a lot going on here. I think one one side is vacant, and the other side has been bought by the only big company in the strip mall to use for storage. Oh, <laughs> or it's just, like, a vape shop. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> this is the worst. Because I want oh, you to know that at least where I live... Story. Most of the strip malls have vape shops, or now the thing is like the CBD oil. Like oh, those yeah. are everywhere now. Yep. Do they have uh, ghost vape? Ghost yeah. vape, yeah. Yeah, so you can, uh, so you can, you can vape ghosts. Vape some, vape some ghosts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's called callback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, how long have we been in operation, y'all? I feel like it's a few months. Yeah. Few like, months. we've I've... taken, like, two jobs, and they maybe went okay, and yeah. now we're like, yeah, we can do this. We, we've got a year lease on this thing, and we need to make it by then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, that's good. So, next next bullet point here is, are you the main office, an established franchise, or a startup? Sounds like a startup. We're a startup? So, we didn't franchise the inspector's name. We're like, we're going we're, we're gonna to dollar store this. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're like a really sad knockoff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Ghosters. Yeah. In Ghosters? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even punchers. make sense. We're just ghost punchers. <laughs> ghost punchers? <laughs> ghost punchers? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think, I think uh, Jackie got the name of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's your franchise located? So it's definitely a strip mall. Yeah. In the Rust Belt somewhere. Mm-hmm. We don't mm-hmm. have a name the town. Uh, how many people work there? Is it just us three or do we have anybody else? Um, I think we have a high school kid that comes by in the afternoon. They, yeah. They're our academic. They do all our math for us. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they're doing like dual credit and we count as, they count as an intern for, for early college credit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. They do all our budgeting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that a lot. It's for, it's for their like small business course. Yeah. Mm-hmm love that uh who runs the show a board of directors or us oh it's us yeah it's us us. we're in charge here uh it i think it's it's (laughs) comic it's it's uh depends on the the moment which of us think we're in charge for sure uh do investors privately fund it or did you all max out your credit cards um i think yeah, I think we maxed out our credit cards. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and also like probably asked our moms to like. I think I think uh, uh, John had a, a pretty substantial Chip Chippendales like savings because he made a lot of money, uh, mm-hmm. and he just cleared out his savings account. Yeah, yeah it makes to sense. do this, uh, ride or die. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ryan, does does uh, Jackie maybe have like an inheritance from one of those dead family members that was? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think. Um... She put all of her inheritance uh, from over the years uh, of fighting uh, these things and these things fighting back. Uh, (laughs) All the money my mom left when she was killed by supernatural beings has been put into this company to kill supernatural beings. That's pretty much true, yeah. I couldn't do it on my own because my family members kept dying. So so I had to team up. Yep. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, okay, so here's where it gets fun. Where we're going to start <laughs> rolling dice. Ooh. Uh, what does your franchise look like, and what amenities does it feature? So we know it's in a strip mall. Mm-hmm. Did we get it set up? Like, is does it look like an office in here? Does it look like, uh, like, is there like a small? Fr- I, I imagine there's like a small front area, kind of like a, a dry cleaners. Like, there's a small front area, and then there's like a back area where we can keep all our weapons and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So Ooh. I think that I would have insisted that the front area look really nice because I'm used to working as like a publicist and everything. So, yeah. like, I think the front area, like, we've actually done a really nice job. Okay. And well, it has like chairs and throw pillows and stuff. Well, we have to find out. Okay. Uh, oh. So you've established a fact. So mm-hmm. you get to roll the technology roll. Oh. Okay. Lucky you. So my technology is three. So you roll 3d6 and keep the highest one. Hey, that's okay. probably good. Can I? Mine is zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, eventually you're going to have to roll one of these because I don't think two people can roll 12. You like, right? Don't you each have to roll? So how do you uh, how do you roll a roll when you have zero for a roll? I don't know. I need to look that up. I thought you couldn't have zero. Yeah. Uh, uh, weird, weird agents can. Oh, okay. So can I say that my my pop culture knowledge applies to this? Can I say that I know like what the trends are and what... Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. 
You're the perfect person for this. So role. that means I get an extra die, right? Right. Uh, my highest is a five. Five. So five is good. Describe the result and gain a franchise die. So you get exactly what you said. It looks nice. You've got like trendy stuff up front, uh, and we would get a franchise die. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, so I think that like it looks pretty nice up front. I think the back is like okay. It's functional. It's not like super hip and trendy. Can can we say that the building used to be like a fast food place, and like sure. the back used to be the kitchen? Okay. And all that. I like that. that it could be like a fast casual kind yeah. of a chipotle Fasual. or something. But we still have the like the front counter where you used to order stuff, and that's where our clients come to talk to us. Uh huh. Um, I think uh. In the, so we, we, I think in the back, like all of the, <laughs> hold on. Uh, so I like the idea that like all of the, the, the people who left just left all the kitchen equipment. So there's like fryers and grills yep. and stuff back there. And that's the stuff we keep changing. We keep like cannibalizing to make our equipment out of. Yes. yes. Uh, what's my technology role? So we, I think we've got like functioning, a functioning kitchen in the back until we start taking it apart. Oh, my right. technology is only a one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a six. All right. Nice. So is that for our gear? Heck yeah. Uh, so, and a six is uh, describe the result and gain two franchise die. So I think it's all like I think they went. I think it was like a um, the company that was in here before us was like uh, someone fleecing investors. So they oh. they set it all up with brand new equipment and stuff, and then took all the startup money and left. Oh. So all this stuff in here is actually really nice. And if we if we had just started a restaurant, we would be set. But we did not start a restaurant. <laughs> That's amazing. So, uh, what else do we think is going on here? Let's see. What amenities does it feature? Do do we? Is there a place to live here? Um. Ooh. Yeah. Like I how mean, about... I think that like if this is you know if, like this was a state of the art restaurant, then like right. this is it's a big space. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like we moved the front pretty far forward. So like the back has a lot of space because it was, if it was meant to be a restaurant, there probably was a seating area and stuff, Mm -hmm. but we like made that into like our living slash working area. So it's not like nice living quarters, but it's, it's decent. Like you could spend a night here and be pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. I like that. Like push a bunch Uh, of the booths together and, and get some Oh yeah. We made beds out of booths. (laughs) I like that. Uh, not comfortable, but it'll do. Well, yeah. that's that's why you put like uh, like the mattress over between the booths, uh-huh. and then you can just sleep on the mattress itself. Yeah, like there's a box spring and stuff. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, and that means we like we have a, a booth that is a bed, and then a booth that's a table where we keep all our stuff, and then another booth is a bed, and like mm-hmm. we got to keep our stuff on our table. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So up next is, are you the only inspectors, well, uh, excuse you, are you the only inspe- in ghosters, pun- ghost punchers <laughs> franchise in the area? Are there any competitors? Uh, I think it would be great if there was an actual, like, the big company inspectors in town that we're yes. trying to cha- challenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With. Uh, and they're actually good. Yeah, they I definitely... think they're across the street, but they have, like, their own building. They have, a, they have a, like, a, a mid-level tower. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So we're, like, in the strip mall next to the vape shop. Yeah, and an empty spot. <laughs> and we can just out of the front window. You can see the giant glowing inspector sign at the top of yes. the building. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, we, we have to like we, we actually, the way we get customers is we we stand near uh, the inspector's thing and be like, "Oh, are you going in there? Oh no, they're they're fumigating in there. You got to go to this place over here." You're like, we're way cheaper. So yeah, super cheaper. And we'll punch your ghosts. Will they we punch will. your ghosts? <laughs> They'll inspect them. We'll. Yeah, we them. take action. <laughs> They'll look into your ghost situation. We will resolve the issue. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, so here's the here's the fun part again. What kind of gear do you have access to, and what do you use for transportation? Well, we've got access to weapons. Right. We've established that. Uh huh. What kind of weapons, though? Um. Oh, goodness. well. So everything's got to be like chrome, right? Because it's all made from kitchen stuff. Right. Um. Oh, so we've got we've got chrome. Bladed weapons, uh-huh. like swords and and knives and stuff. Uh huh. Um, but we've also it's all kitchen cutlery. <laughs> yeah. And, and, oh yeah. And kitchen cutlery. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So we just trap you... our ghosts in Tupperware, then, right? You. Est- 
So you establish this, uh, and this is a weapon. So, so since you're your special thing is you use weapons for technology, I use athletics for technology when you're doing weapons. Yes. Going. So you need to roll to see how good our cutlery is. So I got four of those. Uh huh. You say being a librarian probably doesn't help, but that's okay. Oh, that's that, that's not the te- you don't get a bonus for that. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, yeah. so here we go. So we're looking at the highest dice, right? Yeah. That is a four. A four is fair. Describe the mostly positive result of your action, but you also have to include a negative or, or humorous effect. So what's what's negative or humorous about our, our cutlery weapons? <laughs> um, I mean, they're just cutlery, and sometimes um, you can't cut ghosts. <laughs> I think they're also like... Uh, because they didn't... Ins- like, the people who uh, were fleecing their investors didn't expect them to, like use them they're also like very cheap very cheap yeah so like they may well, what break if they're cheap knives but like we've coated them in like a ghost resistant material so like yeah. they can like actually do something but mm-hmm. they actually don't work at all as knives yeah yeah <laughs> so like they, they're only okay. good for cutting ghosts yep. so they're not good for cutting anything else even though some of them like still look pointy, if you try to stab someone with them, it just does not work. Yeah. They're so dull. <laughs> and whatever we put on them to cut the ghosts actually made that made them more dull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also look chrome. Yep. <laughs> right. They're very impressive. Mm-hmm. Do not stab people with them. Because uh, you can't. No. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll for like, I want a, uh, there's a, a, a it's, like, it's like a flamethrower. Like it's got a backpack thing and a mm-hmm. little like tube hose. But in st- instead of flames, it, it's just a, a, a fryer vat, and it Ugh, sprays hot oil. Hot oil? Oh, hot yeah. oil. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That makes such a mess. Uh, I've only got a one die in technology. I'm trying to uh, decide how being uncomfortably attractive would help me in this. Uh, uh, well, well, because oh. you, you would end up covered in oil, too. Oh, yep. there we go. Yep. <laughs> no, I, think, I, think, yeah, I think what happened. <laughs> I think the way it happens is. Uh, our our intern, who is very actually very smart and competent, came in after I had failed to build this thing once and was just covered, glistening in oil. Uh, yes. <laughs> and they were so flustered that they agreed to help me for free. That's yeah, amazing. Like, yeah, I, I will gladly stay extra hours to just to help you. <laughs> it's fine. I just it's I'm gonna be I'm gonna be topless though because it's all greasy and stuff. I just gotta I'm gonna throw this. In the uh, take my shirt off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's two threes, so that didn't help me. So not great. The GM determines your fate, but you may be given a chance to suggest a single positive, albeit minor, effect. So who, which one of you want to tell me how bad my <laughs> uh, uh, grease flamethrower uh, is? It, it burns your back if you use Every it too often. It? Yep. <laughs> There's no insulation? No insulation to it, yeah. I like that. So yeah, it's... I mean, it, I, yeah, like, I feel like the negative is just, this was a terrible idea to begin <laughs> with. No matter how good it is, it's still bad. <laughs> it's, <laughs> so it works. It's just, every time it does, every time he uses it, he makes the same joke of, is it good not in here? Is it just <laughs> 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 Look, this is one of those situations where the final product is only as good as the original idea. <laughs> and the original <laughs> idea was not very good. Uh <gasps> Uh, so I think that that, that leads us to uh, Amelia. What do you think our our method of transportation is? Oh, um, like, what do you want? <laughs> you know what I want. What do you want? <laughs> we just have a favorite Uber driver. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna roll to find out how much this Uber driver likes us. Yeah. Also. <laughs> so roll your technology. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Uh, so my technology is three. This game is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this game. This is it's the game so that I've good. used the most for for vetting uh, new players. Uh, so three. Oh, no. Three. So not great. The GM determines decides your fate, but you may be given a chance uh, to suggest a single positive. So I think uh, unless someone has, has a really... Ford Fiesta. So <laughs> that's that's what I say. I think I think they do have access to a nice car, but it's like it's their mom's car. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and and when their mom is using their car, they have to use their car, which is like a a Fiesta or a Gremlin or something, where like it has a back seat, but we are definitely like in each other's laps. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to fit the flamethrower in the trunk. Yeah, what trunk? The radio doesn't work. The air conditioner doesn't work. Uh, 
the the radio doesn't work, but he still has a boombox back there, like yes. a, boom box, a big subwoofer in the trunk, yeah. which takes up all the space. Oh God! So yep. you never know if you're gonna get like his mom's uh, Escalade or his Fiesta. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is our? What is his name? Um, Tyler. He's Tyler. Tyler. Tyler's a fair. <laughs> Uh, and Tyler, uh, the reason Tyler keeps agreeing to be our main Uber driver is Tyler has a crush on our intern. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Do, uh, do we have a name for our intern? Um, let's name, let's name them Alex. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Uh, Alex and Tyler are, are Sitting youth, in a tree. youthful friends. Do we have like a, a rom-com like side story in the making here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah whatever garbage we're doing is undercut by this like actually kind of cute like coming of age yep. rom-com <laughs> right and we're constantly trying to set them up right oh definitely we've definitely like tried to do the whole blind date thing on them both stuff we keep trying to get both of them to go to a ghost hunt with us so we can lock them in a scary room together <laughs> yes it's <laughs> beautiful oh, oh amazing oh poor actually competent children that we keep <laughs> so for transportation we're gonna write tyler <laughs> tyler Tyler, the Uber driver. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Is there any other equipment we want to set up? Uh, actually, I think we can co- we can circle back around to equipment after we go to. Do you have a specialty? Ghosts, vampires, demons, cryptozoology, etc. I think I want it to be ghosts. Yeah, I think it's. We've already got like the ghost cutty, the, go- yeah, the ghost, ghost shanks. Yep, and we're we're called the ghost punchers. <gasps> Hold on, can right. we change it to ghost shanks? <laughs> ghost shanks. shanks? Yeah. <laughs> company's named Ghost Shanks. <laughs> shanks from the. <laughs> oh gosh. Ghost yes. shanks to go. <laughs> Ghost shanks to go. Wow. Uh, but the, love but it's a two, right? Like yeah, of course two, it's a two. two go. We're not okay. amateurs. <laughs> 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 but we are actually. Yep. <laughs> okay, so if our specialty is ghosts, like what specific ghost hunting gear do we have aside from ectoplasmic coated chrome <laughs> knives? So we're talking about like specifically ghost uh, catching technology, and you had mentioned Tupperware. So what's this Tupperware like that we catch ghosts in? Oh yeah, um, it's got like a film on the inside that like mm-hmm. the ghosts kind of stick to. Like once we, and then we just have to seal it shut. Yeah, <laughs> get a yeah. burp them every so once in a while. So we just gotta like, yeah, right, exactly. You don't want to, you want too much buildup of the ghost gases in there. Um, yeah, so like you kind of just have to like take the lid and, and just kind of. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a good visual this is really joke good for an audio medium, but you can all hear what I'm doing. Yeah. It's just yep. like holding the container up, and like. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, would you like to real technology to see how good our Tupperware? Oh is? my gosh! Okay. I like that we're starting at a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> Again, so we're find out if this is really effective or not. Um, it's a five. It's very effective ghost Tupperware. Yep. Uh, that's good. You've got, you've got, like, whatever, I think it's whatever, it's like whatever polymer we've coated our knives with, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, and we just have, like, giant, like, you know those, like, um, tub storage bins, like the plastic storage bins that we use for bigger ghosts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like big Rubbermaid tubs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good. I like that a lot. Can we do, like, uh, ghost net launchers? Net launchers? Yeah. Yes. Uh, is it just, a, like, a, a same deal? We've soaked it in this poly? Yeah. I, I think... I think that's the deal is this polymer stuff that we keep using is is like an oil, like a consecrated oil or something. Yeah. That, but it, that we it keep specifically in our fire is like, yeah, but it's a specific like kind of fryer oil and then yeah. we do something to the, but it has to be like, stuff has to have been fried in it first for it it's, to work. It's the oil left over from when the place was abandoned. That right. was less. Oh, so we have like a limited amount of it. It was well, no, but that's the thing is like we can make more, but we have to keep cooking. So like we yeah. do have to use this kitchen. Yeah. Do so we... like we we only can make like we can only pull apart so much of this kitchen because we do need at least the fry oil. And the thing that we have to okay. cook is blessed uh, potatoes as fries. See, I was gonna. I, I, that's that's much better than my idea because my idea is: Are we bad people who fry ghosts? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you make anti-ghost oil by frying ghosts oh, no. in oil? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like the idea that to kill more ghosts, you have to kill ghosts. <laughs> Which begs the question, how did we get this oil in the first place? I, I think it's like vegetable oil. <laughs> yep. But like, it's vegetable we oil can't. You fry Right, but like we can't have caught a ghost. Right. Hmm. Until we've. No, no, that. Uh, 
when this place was showing for whatever, they, they had to make some food in the kitchen to say that the kitchen was viable, right? Yeah. And uh, the thing that they that they did was they uh, they fried up some haunted fries <laughs> on accident. Yeah. It does happen that sometimes ghosts will haunt your potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. I like that a lot. <laughs> we specialize in haunted restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly Diners, because we just really want guys. like free food for life. Like we don't actually like ask them to pay pay us. <laughs> we just really want like free food for. Yeah. <laughs> John is like, I have starved myself for thirty years. I want all the food. <laughs> <laughs> I am carbo <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Freaking French fries. Oh man. Uh, I like that a lot. Ah, uh, ghost, um, ghost fries. So you need to roll for your your oil soaked net launchers. Oh sure. Uh, and I don't know if this counts as a weapon. It's kind of a weapon. It's a weapon? Are we going to allow this to be a weapon, Amelia? I mean, because otherwise he's rolling zero, so it kind of Yeah, which means be. he rolled a one. <laughs> Let's do uh, net launcher weapons. Okay. Five. Five. So it's exactly what you wanted. So this is just like a normal net launcher that we've soaked in ghost oil. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. So we've got something to capture them with, and we've got something uh, to hold them in once we captured them. So I think we need something to find them with. Mm. Uh, so I think, uh, I think there's like this, uh, like gum that we can make out of Ooh. this oil. Like if we congeal this oil into a gum, like we can make it into a gum where if we're chewing it, uh, we can we can hear ghosts better. Oh my god! And like track them. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, but so we've got- it- it tastes real bad. It tastes real bad. Well, let's see how bad it tastes. Okay. That's true. I, I can't think of a way being uncomfortably attractive is helpful. Well, I mean, no, I'm only, when you chew I'm gum and you're uncomfortably thing. attractive, you just sell more gum. Too bad. <laughs> the GM decides your fate and may suggest something suitably negative. Oh, no. So what's very, very bad about this gum? Um, you can hear ghosts, but you can hear other things way less. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I think it it's may also... possibly be permanent. It might be. It oh, might no. cause permanent hearing loss. <laughs> oh no! We're just permanently damaging our hearing. It's not FDA tested. We're all gonna have tinnitus. <laughs> ghost tinnitus. Instead of that raining, you hear the whispers of the ghosts. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's very good. <laughs> uh. So I think that's it. Oh, no, we've got, here's the last thing we've got to do. Uh, we've got five franchise dice. Ooh. Uh, since we're a small company. And we get to apply those to either our gym card, our library card, uh, our credit card, or leave them in the bank. The, the, if you have them in a card, like if you have a gym, gym co- dice and gym cards, you can take a dice from that to use in physical activities, like Ooh. athletics checks. Uh, if you have it in your credit card, you can use it for technology or buying stuff or contacts for uh, bribing people. Uh, if you have it for uh, the library card, you can use it for academics roles and stuff to go to the library and check, like uh, our stock library. But if you leave in the bank, you can use it for anything. But if you roll too low on a bank die, it just takes more money away from you. So you, you, could, you could lose money. Like pay, by doing things from your bank is dangerous. Gotcha. I would say... Uh... We probably need two library cards at least. You put two of our dice in the library card? Yeah, because we're dumb. We're dumb. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I also got three like on my rolls as we were rolling stuff up too. Oh, wait. What did you roll three on? Well, over time, like, because I got three different rolls that I had five on. So like, don't you get a franchise die on? Right. Okay. Yes. So uh, it would be a, yeah. Yeah, a five or a six give you franchise dice. Ooh. Right. So I had three over the course of all those rolls. I had a okay. five. Someone had a six. I had a six. You had a six. six. So you had two. I think these go towards completing the mission rather than starting. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. So we would already be like six franchise dice into completing. I think I may have misread that. Uh, (laughs) I don't know if you get franchise dice from the start, the the beginning explanations. Um, I mean, I think we should put most of them into a library card. I think honestly, all of them, all of them. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, nobody has an academics (laughs) over one, right? Right. So I think. Because uh, 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 you've got a, you've got an okay technology, and uh, we both got okay contacts, and then uh, me and uh, Ryan both have okay athletic. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, we've got those mostly covered. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we need to put them all in library card. So we spent, we had some money left over after remodeling and all we, we spent it just entirely on books. Yep. So mm-hmm. we've got like these kind of crappy like uh, beds that we've made out of uh, booths. Yep. And then we've got like a fully like wall of books. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. That's amazing. And and that's it. We've made our franchise. Oh, that's very cool. All right. Ghost Shanks to go. Ghost Shanks, Ghost Shanks to, to go. go. <laughs> Wow. I like how we've changed the name four times. <laughs> Should we jump into our next segment then? Might as well. Okay. D20 for your thoughts. D20 for your thoughts? So we're going to talk to you about your thoughts on this process. I'm not going to read this whole thing. We've done it <laughs> two other times. <laughs> so, All right. Yeah. How did creating our own world and tech change the process uh, for us? And how do we think it might affect the gameplay? I think it's everything about that. Like, it affects the gameplay completely. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it completely flavored everything that we are going to do going forward. Mm-hmm. Because this game didn't give a whole lot of setting kind of stuff. And we have completely developed what it looks like when we use our technology, what that technology is. Like, who we are as people, mm-hmm. whether we are uncomfortably hot or not. Yep. <laughs> um yeah. Yes. How likely we are to die from oil burns. We, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're definitely, at least one of us is going to die from oil burns. <laughs> For sure. For sure. We're going to slice and dice and fry some ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> so are you shooting this, like, ghost oil <laughs> with your ghost oil backpack? Yeah, yeah. It's like a flamethrower, but for ghosts. That's amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, and it, But it's still, I, I can't stress this enough. <laughs> extremely hot oil <laughs> and unlike our dumb knives which have been made dull and useless against people hot oil is still very effective <laughs> it's true yeah oh i mean God. and also we're just spraying down ghosts with the oily remains of their dead ghost it's brethren. very dark <laughs> we're not good people <laughs> look they should have thought about that before they done became ghosts that's true <laughs> they did a haunting they're doing the crime hot time. Yep. Yep. yes you do do a haunt you Get the <laughs> jaunt, jaunt is the only word I can think of. All I can think right. of is jaunt as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm excited with this trash fire, this oily trash fire. Oil fire? Um, <laughs> and oil fires are even harder to put out, so this is going to be bad. Yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. So of the games that we've talked about in this series, this is the longest one. Um, it has the most pages. I think it's like 88 or something compared yeah. to mm-hmm. 3 and 33. Yeah. Um, do we think that this still counts as a small game? No. I mean, the, no. the easy answer is no. This is a norm. This is a game that has like progression mechanics and stuff. Not very many. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it still. I, I, y'all might disagree, but I think it still counts for like the flavor we're going for. Like it does all the things the other ones do too. Like you make your characters very fast. You collaborate on what's happening, mm-hmm. uh, and you get into a game very quickly. And you can do it in a. You can do a one shot, no problem. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And uh, and it it's highly improv on what the story is going to be based on yeah. your selections at this at this stage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that we this is sort of like a philosophical game design discussion point. Generally, is like what counts as a small game, what is a full game? You know, um, I think that's a debate that's going to be ongoing in this community for I don't know ever. We like to debate things for ages. <laughs> yeah. um, we like to have hot takes. So I, I think that you're right in terms of the feel that we were kind of going for, which really was, you know, character creation that is really quick and really open and that kind of thing. Um, not super mechanically driven. This fulfilled that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll say, uh, like, after all the stuff after the 30 pages area is stuff that you don't like really need like you've got your weird agents you've got your continuation stuff Mm -hmm. like uh it's not all uh, like the the part you need to actually play this game is the first 35 pages yeah yeah which uh and i think i think like tacking on supplemental stuff to make this a a, something if you wanted to play in different styles i don't think that that changes the fact this is a small game it's a it has a small game philosophy uh and feel Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah Yeah. i would agree uh so do we think the process uh in this game led to characters that felt fleshed out 
No. Not, yeah, no. not really. So, okay. I don't I think get- we know much about these people. I think we know kind of like what they're good at and we know what they're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. I don't think we really know anything about mm-hmm. those people. This is this is another one where you learn more about your character as you play them because you can go into confessions for a mechanical benefit. Uh, so you can do confessionals to establish facts and change things. Um, and that's where you learn th- like there's a characteristics that we didn't do. Uh, which uh, I don't, I don't. It, it, it would be very strange for us to do now. But you can go, you can go into the confessional and establish a characteristic about another thing, uh, and then actually, I don't even know if you get a bonus for that. It's just that if you then play to that, like if if uh, one of y'all gay, like went to the confessional and said, "Oh, John, you know, he's kind of a he's kind of a dummy. He's not very bright or whatever." I could write down, I could write down not bright as a characteristic, and then if I play John as being not bright. We get additional franchise dice at the end of the game. Nice. Two of them, I think. Um, and so there, there's like ways to to collaboratively make your character uh, more fleshed out as you play mm-hmm. again. Uh, but yeah, there's not the character creation gives you the bare minimum of what you need to actually do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you played, you played it. Like we spent way more time. I think I didn't look at the timer making our franchise. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's the fun part. <laughs> it is the fun part. It's the part that I yeah. like the most. I kind of forgot about the, the whole uh, reality show aspect of it, too. Yeah. Uh, which which is, would make sense if we're kind of just okay at it. Yeah. But entertaining. And yeah. we're like, we got we to gotta figure out a way to make money off of this. Uh-huh. Uh, let's put some cameras on this. And, and I'm sure that'll, that'll work out fine. <laughs> yeah. And our legal department had way less caveats. Um, yeah, about our legal department was you, <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah, I was like, sure, why not? That's great for you know, publicity. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and inspectors had all sorts of rules about like where these people could and couldn't go and who right. they could follow, and we were like, yeah, sure, come follow us around. Yeah, let's uh, yeah. let's slice some ghosts. Yeah, let's shank some ghosts. Prime hot oil. Mm-hmm. Get all. Let's get oil. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, that. that's that's <laughs> called ratings. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a dude who's uncomfortably hot. I'm sure. Yeah, how will how watch. many episodes does that happen? <laughs> oh, all of them. All of them. Why is John covered in oil again? Like the producers pull you to the side. <laughs> it like, plays well just, with the. She'll just throw some oil yep. on it on again. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. This is just regular oil, not ghost oil. You're fine. Ratings were low last week. We need them to be a little more slippery. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I hate that. Hashtag Slippery John. Oh, 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 Ryan, this is a family. <laughs> oh my god! Like every time you get oily, it shows up in the corner of the screen. Yeah, they change they change the name. Like you have the name on the bottom. It usually says John. Yeah. Now they have Slippery written. Yep. <laughs> they the fans the fans count it as a different character. Yep. It's its own separate wiki page. Ah. Yeah, it's two different wiki pages. <laughs> oh my god. John John is not a fan favorite. Slippery John, however. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he plays well with the target demographic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh what do we see as potential flaws in this process? I I, I think I, that this game is perfect. This game is I think again, for what this game does. Not enough punching uh, ghosts. Uh, I think it also like it, it, I know it's obviously like a million more pages than Love and Justice, but I think it has the it has like kind of the the ease of making your character that Love and Justice has. Like you just pick a couple of numbers, and then you mm-hmm. and then and then a special thing like to like the, the your talent is the only other mechanical thing you have, uh, and it's open ended. You just write whatever you want there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think it's it's like it's really uh, l- not much. Um, Bar- to do there you you go ahead and you write down what you want to be good at it gives you more of an idea because you have the four different stats rather than one number and then you roll under or over mm-hmm. so it's, a, it's just a tiny bit more complex it's where you understand what you're doing a little more uh and then then you just go which is what the game is supposed to do right so uh obviously like there's there are cool things you can do with a more robust character creation system uh but it doesn't require you to be good at improv uh, you just you can you can make up what you need and then find out the rest as you play. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any like blatant flaws uh, for what this game is supposed to be. So, Mm-mm. so uh, 
Do we think that going through the character creation process in this game gives us clues about what the gameplay is going to be like? Feels like it. I, I mean, yes, because you literally make those roles. Yeah. Those, the roles yeah. you make to establish your equipment are the roles you'll make the entire game, except for you also have to do uh, stress roles and bank roles. Yeah. But uh, which have their own little bars. Yeah, I really like how they set it up so you actually get to play a little bit of the game as you're creating the franchise and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. You've already got a good idea of like what's going to be going on, and you've set the tone um, pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It already given a few examples of of how things have gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. are going to go. Speaking of which, of how things have gone and are going to go, <laughs> fanfic time. Yeah. I really want to talk about this Alex and Tyler thing. Yeah, yeah. Same here. I, like, I want to spend a lot of my fanfic time on this. I, I'll be honest. Like we've we've established all we need to know about us. We've got you know the the publicist. Uh, who is also our lawyer? <laughs> yeah. We've got our our actual stoic. Uh, I don't know how to say the the fra- bad. I don't just, just uh, toughy uh, tough. Yeah, the, Jack, the buffy counterpart, Jack, Jackie, <laughs> a buff fighter. Uh, and then we've got our our eye candy. Like we know what that story is. We're just all gonna annoy each other mm-hmm. and be bad at things. Mm-hmm. What's really interesting is Alex and Tyler, right? Let's like, do they go to prom? Right, so, I mean, do they go to school together, and, like, Tyler does Uber driving on, like, nights and weekends? So it's like... How old do you have to be to be an Uber driver? Probably 18, I would imagine. So what if, what if Tyler, like, graduated last year, and Alex is graduating this year? Oh, yeah. So they they were in school together. Yeah. Uh, Alex is definitely going to college. Uh, Tyler's kind of a mess up. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Well, and I think, I think Alex also probably is taking some, like, college courses, too, Mm -hmm. on top of. Uh, high school credit yeah so i think like they knew each other in school but this is the first time they've actually interacted with each other Mm -hmm. right uh and i think and they've really bonded over having to deal with our incompetence Mm -hmm. right just just saving our butts constantly (laughs) yeah and most of the confessionals on the show are really them talking about us yeah yeah and maybe a little and then us talking about them and being like uh, i hope that they meet (laughs) i hope that they did, like every confessional is like, did you see? Did you see the way? Did you see the way Alex looked at at Tyler? Did you see it? I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something there. There's something there. I definitely think that we need to keep Alex on for another semester because I just think that like we're getting really close to a breakthrough with Tyler, and I I, I think that it's worth it's worth having an intern for another another little bit of time. I'm not so worried about the books. Like the books, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But I need to see where this is going. I know uh, Alex was like possessed by that su- succubus or whatever when she was when when they were flirting with Tyler, but you know I think there was something actually underneath all that. So <laughs> I yes. I know what that looks like. <laughs> I've been a dancer. <laughs> I used to be a Chippendales dancer. I've seen love before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, John, that's not love. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, I love John so much. John? <laughs> Any affection's love, right? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's Good old slippery John. <laughs> Hashtag slippery John. No. <laughs> Answer my own question. Yes, they do go to prom, and yes, it gets haunted, and we have to save them. Yes, absolutely haunted prom. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag haunted prom. Hashtag haunted prom. Our intern Hashtag becomes our job. client. <gasps> oh, I think Tyler becomes our client Ooh. because Tyler needs to save Alex. Oh yeah, yeah. there you go. Because they are in danger. Yep, love that. Oh, so good. That's amazing. We'll save that for sweeps. <laughs> I like that we're a network <laughs> and not Netflix. <laughs> well, we have to have commercials. We we don't have enough enough content. To yeah, uh-huh. we can only do twenty two minutes. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, that's pushing it. <laughs> like how we went for the half hour episodes instead of the one hour episodes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Chris, uh, thank you so much for doing this with us. For especially for sticking around for three different games. <laughs> It was so much mm-hmm. fun. Do you want to remind everybody where they can find you? Uh, yeah, I'm still I'm still at Iolo or Iolo if you're not me. 
Um, I I I really thought about not saying that joke again because I, even I'm getting tired of it. But you got to commit sometimes, you know. That's third time's the charm. Yep. Yeah. Now eventually, it's, funny. it's gonna be funny, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, please, please be funny. Someone, please laugh. Someone laugh. <laughs> we need the we need the Jeb gift. Please clap. Someone tell someone tell me I'm funny. Um. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, you can find me at ILO on Twitter or uh, any of the stuff I'm doing at playtest.pub is my website. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Thank you all so much. Yes, this, <laughs> this was, was so, so much, much fun. fun. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and thank you to everyone for listening. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next week. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts and guests, or even find some of our character sheets. Character Creation Cast can be found on Twitter, at CreationCast. I'm one of your hosts, Amelia Antrim, and I can be found on Twitter, at Ginger Reckoning. Our other host, Ryan Bolter, can be found on Twitter, at Lord Neptune. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license, or with permission from the podcast it originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Amelia Antrim. Further information for the game system used and today's guests can also be found in the show notes. If you like the game systems discussed and wish to purchase them, links to the products can be found in the show notes. Also check our notes or the website for cool stuff to go with each character like dice or mixtapes. Thanks for joining us. And remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We'll see you next time. Now we gotta read some show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show... Visit one shot podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep keep going. <laughs> if you enjoyed our show, visit one shot podcast.com where you'll find other great shows like Backstory. Backstory is a cozy, thoughtful interview show featuring the most fascinating folks in role playing. Join host Alex Roberts as she gets to know game designers, LARP rights, scholars, community organizers, and more. From emerging artists to seasoned veterans, guests open up about their creative process, what keeps them engaged, and their visions for the future of role-playing. E. Yay! Yay! My did it. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> oh, 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 Chris! We've been recording for a while now, and our voices are gone. We've been watching Amelia eat this entire time, and I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> it is very Wait, taunting. Crunch, the <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm going to send those waveforms to Jude. Oh, that, Jude. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is that he doesn't care. I send them to him, and he's like, yep. I'm like, oh. oh. He's like... He doesn't get as annoyed at anything as I do at his stupid mouth sound. He's a he's a broken man. <laughs> he, is, he is. And if I tell him that you said that, he'll nah. be like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. Well, I am Rilston. So let's see what we can do. I believe in us. We can do it. We're on part three. Okay. Part three. Everybody get your drinks of water and then we'll get started here. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me put a couple more pieces of popcorn in my mouth. <laughs> then you gotta drink more water. <laughs> the vicious cycle. <laughs> I know. I did it to myself. And to both of you. Yep. <laughs> All right, are we good? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm. Everybody's favorite part. <laughs> mm hmm. Hold on. Let me flip through my book here. Mm.
Names first. What is this concept? I finally figured out what SMH means. Oh, like yeah. two months ago. Good oh, job, Ryan. <laughs> I was like, everybody keeps saying SMH. And I'm like, what is what? I, I mean, I, I kind of get it in context, but I don't know what it stands for. Yeah. I finally looked it up. I'm proud of you. Uh, mm-hmm. For those of you at home, it's shaking my head. It's not sharing your horse? <laughs> <laughs> so much hate. Sharing my horse. <laughs> All right. Smell sorry, my house. <laughs> Sad man haggling. <laughs> Sorry, my hamster. <laughs> and that's Snort more so- hummus. <laughs> and that's called a callback. <sighs> okay. Oops, oops, all callbacks. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's warm in here. It was good. Uh huh. Yeah. Now we need a theme song. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no, we'll have to we'll have to see if we can commission somebody for our uh, our ghost theme song. Uh, ghost shades to go to go. <laughs> ghost, ghost, go, 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 ghost. <laughs> ghost shakes to go. Okay, go, no, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay. <laughs>